Um, I call the order of the Monday, January 14th, 2019 Finance Committee meeting. Uh, I'll note for the record that all members um, is there a motion to approve minutes from October 16th? So moved. Is there a second? All of, any corrections? It was pretty innocuous meeting. All in favor? It's unanimous 3 to 0. I did some discussion. Item number A was um, equipment replacement reserve fund. Just briefly, last year we had started a conversation through the budget process about the potential for um, reserving um, basically um, depreciation um, for the equipment and then using that as a replacement fund, which our policy already does call for. So, uh, with that, I'm going to turn it over to Tom to start the conversation on that. Management side. Yeah, Ruth had given you an overview, uh, looking kind of back five years uh, on the equipment replacement, uh, what we've been doing. And at the last meeting, I think uh, Chairman Davine actually is the one who said, can we actually put a dollar figure looking back um, if we were to fund everything we purchased in those fiscal years uh, through their relative depreciation schedules? What kind of money we're we talking about? And that's what uh, we're going to for you tonight. I'll let Ruth take you through that. Um. So as part of the capital part, the financial and fiscal policy that was adopted back in September, yeah. uh, it calls for an equipment reserve fund to uh, complete financing should be completed within six years of the date of the adoption of that. So we've got until 2024 to well, that was, it was adopted a long time ago. <laughs> well, it was amended. Let's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we're on a ticking clock. We're on a ticking clock, yes. yes. And so uh, this was one of the options that we could do to try and come up with a, a way to figure out how much we should be funding annually. And the goal is that if we use uh, some, if we use this equipment reserve fund, then we don't have to borrow money for some of these smaller equipment purchases, like uh, pickup trucks and vehicles, stuff like that. Computer reports. Cameras, generators, yeah. defibrillators. Great. Oh, yeah. So this is what we've used um, based on all of the equipment that comes together when, when you have the fixed assets. Uh, it's broken down into the various departments, and then all of that gets individually by item depreciated, and uh, it gets totaled. And these are the totals by department for the depreciation of, those, of the equipment. So, and so I apologize. Um, and it excludes school. So this yeah. When her policy, when are we required to start that? At the very latest. It has to be completed by 2020.